We're here with Billy Goff. Double champ at CES, moves up a weight class. Man, talk about it, man. How did it feel to get in there and, you know, go up a weight class and fight for another title? Yeah, no, I, um, I certainly felt the weight class. Um, I, uh, if I'm going to go up to 185 again, I've got to put on a little more weight going into it. Uh, but it was good. I mean, I was happy. Like, there was always, when, when I got the offer, it was a week out. I wasn't training. Like I was, that was my first day back. I took two weeks off after the fight. Went down to North Carolina, hanging out, just eating. I was 200 pounds a couple weeks ago, and the the only reason I dropped the weight because I was nervous. <laughs> and uh, but I felt good. Like my cardio was good. I wasn't didn't have too many injuries. And I went in there and felt good. Like there's small adjustments, and I mean. Especially like if you make a little mistake, especially bump on a weight class against a guy who hits that much harder, those little mistakes are gonna sh even worse. So we'll bring us a little back to that fight, that first round. When we spoke on the podcast, you talked about you know he's the bigger guy. You know the worst thing he can happen is you know he can put it on me for a round or two, but he's gonna get tired with that weight I'm quicker, and I can take over. That seems like exactly what happened. What are the adjustments from the first round into that second round to you know? So get to the biggest thing that my coach was saying was like, um, the, so when I was moving, I was going in, I was jabbing and I was circling, and I was jabbing, jabbing, and then I would stop and start trying to trade with him right in front of him instead of jabbing into my shots. And there was a couple other things that we were working on. I mean, we only had a week, but we were working on trying to get it in and I wasn't doing them off the range and off the movement that I'm supposed to. So going into the second round back where he's gassed, my coach is telling me like, listen, he's fucking tired, you got this. So it's just, I could feel it when he was on top. That was the biggest mistake was, even when he took me down, like when we were moving around and he ended up on top, the biggest mistake wasn't him ending up on top. The biggest mistake was let him let, letting him get my back. When he had those double boots in, it was just like, fuck, because he's heavy. I mean, what am I going to do? It's not easy to get out under boots someone who has is in your weight class, upper weight class. Um, so that, and the ref almost stopped it. I didn't see it, but people were telling me like the ref almost stopped it twice. And that's, that was my biggest mistake. Had I just been on my guard and just fucking taken a couple, I could have survived a round of that. Do you think that, that frustrated him that he couldn't get that, that finish in that first round and, you know, using all that energy to put it in there, do you think that kind of was what contributed to him, you know, kind of gassing, looking tired when he took over in that second round? Absolutely. Like the, the fact, like I could feel it when he went in, like he was hitting me and hit me and like I was grabbing his hand and then he would try to hit the other side and I start trying to fight with that one. Um, and then he went for the choke because he wasn't, the ref wasn't stopping yet. I'm sure he was getting tired. And I could feel it as he grabbed it. He didn't get it under my jaw and I was, I was under it, but he, he started doing it. He could have done a neck crank had he really, really laid into it, but he didn't. He started cranking it and I started defending it and I could feel him just not, he didn't have that extra, he didn't want to finish it. So that was the biggest turning point. Even though I'm on my fucking face getting my shit kicked and I knew he was gassing. So I knew I, I, I knew it was mine. Well, to bring back to what you said in the beginning of the year, you said, if I ever go up to 80, 85 again, where are, I mean, you're double champ at 170. You just went up and, and you, you basically shocked the CES world here, you know, winning that, that middleweight title to a bigger guy there that's, you know, a couple of wins And it has fought in the contender series a couple of times. I mean, what does that do for you? I mean, not only in your mind, but on paper, in front of the UFC, in front of the eyes. Like, what does that do for your career at this moment right now? I don't understand how I don't get a contract right now. I, I just don't understand it. Like, what else do you want me to do? Like, I, do you, like other leagues, other weight classes? Like, do I got to go down to 155? Like, do I got to fight a bigger name? Because that dude was on the Contender Series. He was number one ranked in New England at middleweight. And I'm number one ranked in New England at welterweight. It's like, what else do I got to do? do I, is it just a bigger record? Do I just got to fight a bunch of cans like a bunch of other dudes do? And pad my record? It's like, no, I don't want to do that. It's not me. I want to get into the UFC. There's other guys in the UFC who are fucking have four fights. It's like, I belong there. Because when I get there, I'm going to run through that division. Uh, it's, and I don't know, it's just we got to get back and see what they say. I'm not doing contender series because it's just, I've already, I'm, I'm doing fights now. I'm not fighting to fight, to fight in the UFC. It's just, no, it's not worth it for me. I'll go fight in other leagues. But I, if you give me a contract, I'm going to be there because I want to be the best in the world. That's where the best are. Well, after tonight, bro, I, I think there's, I know there's no doubt that you're on their radar. They're looking at you right now. I think you just, you know, going to enjoy this win and uh, wait for them phone calls to come because they're coming, dude. Uh, you're a triple champ in New England here. Double champ for CES going up a weight class. Uh, no one... No one's done that. No, three no, belts in no five months, two belts yeah. of a weight class, seven days notice in one month, less exactly. than a month. Side fight, winning streak, four finishes in there, winning 
every belt in that pro that man that's I mean you were 23 years old <laughs> as far as that like there's a Hall of Fame of Hall of Fame of elbows that you put in the <laughs> I got you back with that joke <laughs> so with that said brother um, how's the body feel everything still you know everything yeah, feel no, good like right my, now my brain's good my like my there's obviously my elbow is sore and swollen I can feel it my face is swollen, swollen you can see it um, and it's like you've been in a fight though yeah but it's like I took an elbow uh, but my brain's fine as, as of right now but like when, I can, the muscles in my head hurt so once all this goes down uh, like my thumb's a little sore but it's not broken I can move it nothing's broken uh, my knees feel good and everything feels good the suplex didn't hurt my neck so we're that was good. awesome yeah that, that was, was good. good that was fucking good so I remember that, when I fucking <laughs> landed and I just looked up at my coach and was like what the fuck you gotta get out of it now bro like fuck <laughs> well with that said bro uh, last thing anything you wanna say you know fans friends Anything you want to throw out there, it's a special night, man. It's, it's a historic night, man. Just throw it out there, man. I'll let you enjoy this big win. Thank you. I, um, I just appreciate everybody coming out. All my fucking... There was seven days notice, and I still had a bunch of people come out, and I just I appreciate it. But even the people who came out for him, like, he, him coming out, because I know he probably saw my name, and he was like, fuck, I think this dude is... He doesn't get anything out of that, out of winning, beating me, because it's down a weight class. It's short notice. It's like, what does he get? So I appreciate him taking the fight. The, and I know Dana's watching. There's no way they shared it on the UFC Fight Pass page, so I know he's watching. <laughs> uh, so it's just, I appreciate everybody coming out. I, it was a good night, and I appreciate you guys too. You guys always do a lot of work. All right, man. You have a wonderful night, man. We'll catch up soon. All right, All right bro. Take care. Yeah.